Hello, everyone, and welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we have an elementary level lesson for you. That's right. We are going to talk about winter, but specifically about the clothes you wear during winter when it's very, very cold outside. That's right. And I hear you're not too familiar with some of these practices because where you come from, you don't really have winter. We don't have winter. We have dry season and rainy season, but same temperature. <laughs> well, Chicago definitely has a snowy season, so I'm very familiar with these things. So let's jump right into today's dialogue. We'll be hearing it one time, and in a minute, we'll be back to talk about it. Bye, Mom. Wait, Jimmy, it's cold outside. Put a hat on. Okay, bye. No, wait, you'll be too cold without mittens. All right, see ya. Hold on, with that wind, you're going to catch a cold. Wear this scarf. Okay, see you after school. Oh, and earmuffs, put these on. Here we go. Mom? Yes, honey? I, I can't breathe. All right, we're back. So there were a couple of different items of clothing that we saw in this dialogue. So let's look at them now in Language Takeaway. Language Takeaway. Okay, well, first of all, we have Mom and Jimmy. Jimmy is a boy's name. He's mm -hmm. a little boy. And uh, Mom is saying goodbye to him. But first, she wants him to put on clothes. So the first item, the first thing she asks him to put on is a hat. A hat. Now, you probably have seen like a baseball cap or mm -hmm. many different types of hats. But And sometimes in other languages, they have specific names for a hat for winter, right? But in English, it's a hat. Anything that covers your head is a hat. That's okay. kind of like the category. Mm -hmm. So maybe this one is a warm wool hat. Mm -hmm. But it's in the end, it's a hat. It's a hat. Okay. So he's put on the hat. Now what else is he going to put on? Well, we need to keep our fingers warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are two kinds of uh, ways to keep your fingers warm. And the way in this dialogue that the boy keeps his fingers warm is with mittens. All right. So mittens you put on your hands. Now what's the difference between mittens and gloves? Okay, gloves have special places for each finger. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five on each hand. Right. And mittens, there's two spaces. One for your thumb and one for all your other fingers. Okay. Okay, so that means you can't really hold things. So you kind of look like a penguin or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you look like a... Yeah, exactly, like a <laughs> penguin. At, And it's mostly for children. Adults don't wear mittens because adults need to hold things like keys and phones right. and car car steering wheels. So in this case, mittens is usually for children. Okay. So mittens. And well, the mother is still a little bit worried. So she tells him to wear a scarf. Okay. A scarf is a long, usually made of wool, mm -hmm. a long piece of fabric that you put around your neck to keep your neck warm. Okay. So a scarf. A scarf. Okay. And he's put on the mittens, the scarf, the hat, and he's missing some earmuffs. Okay. This is a little funny because usually if you're wearing a hat, you don't need earmuffs, mm -hmm. but earmuffs are like headphones, but they keep your ears warm. Right. Um, and we wear these, they don't cover your head. They just cover your ears. And usually they're just two round circles over your ears. So as you say, exactly. They look like big earphones mm -hmm. and they keep your ears warm. Now, As you say, you usually don't wear this if you're wearing a hat because, well, you would put your ears inside your hat, right? So it looks pretty silly if he's <laughs> wearing all of this together. All right. And uh, so those four key items, those four key pieces of clothing are for our language takeaway today. Why don't we listen to this dialogue again? And we'll come back soon to talk about Fluency Builder. Bye, Mom. Wait, Jimmy, it's cold outside. Put a hat on. Okay, bye. No, wait, you'll be too cold without mittens. All right, see ya. Hold on, with that wind, you're going to catch a cold. Wear this scarf. Okay, see you after school. Oh, and earmuffs, put these on. Here we go. Mom? Yes, honey? I, I can't breathe. All right, we're back, so now let's take a look at four key phrases on Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. 
Okay, this first phrase, as I said before, has to do with the mum and the boy saying goodbye to each other.、Mm-hmm. So he says, "All right, see ya." See ya. Yeah. Okay, so see as in to look to right. You, you、yeah. see something. And what about y a yeah? See yeah. Ya. So this is a very spoken language way of saying you.、Mm-hmm. So we could say see you later. But if you want to make it shorter, you can say see ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. All right. So see ya. And then what's our next way of saying goodbye? Hold on. Oh wait, that's. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. No.、Um, hold on is our next phrase, and this is a way to say wait. Wait. Hold on. So. You just say "hold on." It means wait. It's not really rude, right? It's just a little bit more casual. Exactly, it's very casual. So you cannot say "hold." That hold, doesn't make sense.、Right. You have to use these two words together. Hold on. Hold so, on. like I said before, with Marco, who wants to go fast, I could say <laughs> "hold on." Hold on. Wait a second. All right. Okay. So hold on. See ya. And now you gotta be careful because you're going to catch a cold. To catch a cold. Okay. So. Uh, a cold is when you, you know, when you cough, you have a sore throat. It's starting to get cold outside, and you don't feel well. Okay,、mm-hmm. so you have a runny nose. It's a, it's a illness.、Mm-hmm. Um, and most people get this every year. It's very common.、Um, but you don't get a cold. You catch a cold. Okay. Okay. So catch is the same word we use for when we we talk about sports, like throwing and catching. Okay. It's almost like、uh, it just hits you. It's so fast. You just. Catch a cold. So that's really important what you just said because you don't use the verb get. You don't get a cold. You catch a cold. Or、mm-hmm. if you say that you were sick last week because you had a cold, you would say, "Oh, I caught a cold," or、okay. "I had a cold." Exactly. So remember, present tense. I catch a cold. Past、mm-hmm. tense. I caught a cold last week. Okay. And our last phrase for fluency builder is here we go. Here we go. Okay, so when do we hear this phrase? The mother says to the boy, "Put these on." Here we go. So she's doing something with him. She's helping him put his earmuffs on. And here we go is a way to say, "Okay, I've finished."、Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm done. Okay, your earmuffs are on you.、Now. So you're ready. Here you go. Here you go. Right. So we say, "Here we go." Like everything is ready. Your earmuffs are on. Exactly. So maybe I'm on my computer and I have a problem, and I'm waiting, 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 waiting. And you know when the bar is loading,、mm-hmm. and finally, ding! It's ready. Here we go. Here we go. Now、it's、I、ready. can start. It's ready.、Mm-hmm. Or sometimes a waitress will come and serve you food and say, "Here we go. Here's your order." Exactly. So this is a way to say、uh, what you've been waiting for. It's ready now. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Great. So I think it's time for us to listen to this dialogue one last time before we come back. Here we go. Bye, mom. Wait, Jimmy. It's cold outside. Put a hat on. Okay. Bye. No, wait. You'll be too cold without mittens. All right. See ya. Hold on. With that wind, you're gonna catch a cold. Wear this scarf. Okay. See you after school. Oh, and earmuffs. Put these on. Here we go. Mom. Yes, honey. Uh. I can't breathe. All right, we're back. So as you mentioned, in Chicago, it's very, very cold. So I imagine you had all of these、uh, winter clothes, right? That's right. And、uh, it's funny because I remember being a small child and my mother doing this to me, putting on snow pants. And boots, and earmuffs, and hats, and gloves, and scarves, and all of a sudden, it's so hot inside because <laughs> you're wearing everything, and so you can't even walk. Like、right. you were saying, a peng- you look like a penguin walking <laughs> out the door, and you get to school and you're sweating, right? <laughs> and so in school, we had to take, we had a special room, and we had to take everything off because there's snow everywhere,、right. and, and snow can be very dangerous because it melts and it turns into water.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have very strong memories of all of this, putting them on, taking them off, and just being warm all the time. <laughs> hey, well,、uh, yeah, when it's cold or you live in a place with cold weather, you have to have these、uh, items of clothing because otherwise you might catch a cold. Exactly. So I hope that no one out there catches a cold. But if if you want some suggestions. Wear a scarf, cover your neck. That's the most important. Your head and your scarf are the most important. <laughs> All right. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, you can visit our website, EnglishPod dot com, and we'll see everyone there. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.